Matthew Naruto. Kingdom Hearts 3, 2. Naruto, Meta NFL 2020. EA Sports, it's in the game. Saquon Barkley, let's get it. Let's go. Saquon Barkley. That was nice. All right, let's get it. Let's go. That first hopper start. Robin, you stop. What it is, what it is, hold up, okay, Jerry. We're gonna get him back in the near death, by the way. Just two, not that, what is not that. And what is Jerry's Buffers? Classic. Not that. Top, top twelve percent, like Tom Breeze number. T Breeze, what it is. So that's on the statue, but it's on the record. That's it for me, bro. That. Yeah. Yeah.
It's the NFL on EA Sports as you get a look inside Gillette Stadium here in Foxborough. All right, that was definitely not a loss on our part. I think I got disconnected. I definitely did not quit that game. I'm not sure what that was. But we definitely didn't lose. It's the NFL on EA Sports as we are in the inner harbor of Baltimore at M&T Bank Stadium. The two teams emerging from their respective tunnels a minute ago to the approval of this Baltimore crowd. They're all set as their Ravens will match up with the New York Giants. Two teams have met in Super Bowl 35 down in Tampa. The Ravens and Giants are underway. And this will be a touchback as that sails. Not sure what's going on with this connection. Thank you.
This is the NFL on EA Sports as we welcome you to MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This the scene just before we came on air. This New York crowd fired up by the arrival of their G-men as they burst from the locker room. They're ready to go as the Giants get set to match up with the Washington Redskins. Zimiti Naruto. NFL 2020. Here's Hopkins now out to kick it away. Good work, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go now. Thirty base. I got you. I got you, son. I got you. You're all mine. You're fine. The first carry for the former Nittany Lion. This is Saquon Barkley, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Sean Dion Hamilton was there to bring him down defensively. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Here we go. Hey, Sam off. Throwing now is Manning. He can't avoid the pressure. Redskins get there. The DN Jonathan Allen making sure his presence is felt. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a defensive player of the year at the other, and they just locked people down. On third and long, it's Manning. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. It's fourth down. Okay, look at this. The punt team nowhere to be found. They're on the sidelines. Offense going to go for this on the opening drive. Look at me. Go on. Go on. They do go for it. It's Manning. He's got a man. It's Corey Coleman. A gutsy call. Turns out to be a good one, though. First down on a pickup of 11. I'm not sure how we got the yard, but... Partner, we've got a pretty good look nice. <laughs> to play this game. Now we got that second first down. Middle for it. Let's keep it going. Situation. Yeah, opening drive. Now, we know this coaching not staff, they way. got traits of aggression in their history, but what a start to this game. They're going for it. Yeah, a lot of people might say reckless, but they got it. One for one on fourth oh, down here early in the game. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first. First and ten. Manning going to hand it off to Barkley. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. He finds Coleman. And some room to maneuver. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the nice catch is Corey Coleman. Well, yeah, both of your first down. down. And if you were to ever in that would have been a touchdown. All right, Charles, let me put you in the head of one of those defenders out there. You have a big play like that go against you so early. What Does that shake your confidence? It shouldn't, but it often does because your thought process all during the week is how you're going to get after that offense and make your plays. And when they make one against you, Makes you a little bit hesitant. Time to regroup. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. A give to Barkley out of the gun. 
He's got the first down inside the 10. And he will take it on in. Flood Giant. All right. Hey, dude, you can't do him dance. They call Barkley. I see you. And the Giants take it right down and score the opening That was amazing. Drive. Breaking out of that tackle. Uh, and then brace acceleration. Beautiful. Amazing take on Barkley. That was very perfect. That's running my vision by me, and that's running the ball by you, Saquon Barkley. Aldrich Rosas on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Giants have a 7 0 lead. After the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Haskins and the Redskins come up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. A first carry now for Adrian Peterson. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Tackle made by Marcus Golden. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. It's AP, Adrian Peterson. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. That one, a first down pickup of eight. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. Now this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Now the first carry for Bryce Love. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. First down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal speed. Oh, he got Green Hessens in. All right, I like that. Like they were able to exploit right there. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Now Peterson running right. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Four yards the pick up, first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Here's Peterson. And an alley to run. Touchdown, Washington! Adrian Peterson, 37 yards, as they are now on the board here in the first half. Well, partner, that was another explosive run, and one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit, but for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt, you need that difference maker lugging the rock. 
Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? Yes. I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. That's juice they're going to The beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. The last run got six, now second and four. Now Saquon Barkley, and he's got Rome, and he's into the clear. He's at the 30, 10, and he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. That's what I'm talking about. Saquon Barkley. Nice touchdown, Saquon Barkley. Second touchdown here in this first half, and the Giants have taken the lead. Rosas now to add the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Out there ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. Now a run with Peterson. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. They try to quick hit her inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now a give to Peterson running right. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. On third and one, it's Haskins. Jordan Reed has it. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. The drive stays alive. A third down gain of eight. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter. 14 to seven. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. On first down, it's Peterson. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Peterson. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. A 10th carry now for Peterson. And a five yard gain gets him to the 42. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They run, Peterson. 
And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. The Redskins now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Haskins on third down. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Fourth down, here's Haskins. And that is going to be incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. Nice defense. And it's going to run down. Nice defense. It's going to run down. What would you say were the positives for some teams or individuals that you took away? Well, it started on opening night. Green Bay and their defense. Not necessarily Aaron Rodgers and what they did going into Chicago and winning. Kansas City, they picked right up where they left off with Patrick Mahomes. Explosive on offense. How about Baltimore and Lamar Jackson? He's not just a single wing tailback, folks. He's a quarterback. And Tennessee, going into Cleveland, Marcus Mariota, Derrick Henry, got 43 points on the Browns. They run on first down as they get about three. Second and seven, forthcoming. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now Manning. Wide open receiver complete. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. That's what I want to see. Corey Coleman. Out of the in the final seconds the of the dance. first half. And the Giants I try to catch Corey Coleman. Six points. That acceleration was amazing. Rosas to add the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21 to 7. <laughs> Literally, get to the last second. That was funny. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Final play of the half, it's Haskins. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off for the press. I say defense. For the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And this will be a touchback as that Come sails on, over the in line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. 
Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll, we'll see if that script is a good one for them. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Alec Ogletree in on the stop. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, Haskins on third down. He goes full extension, and he's got it. That one good for 24 That was pretty yards. amazing catch. And a key number on that play, three. Third play of the drive, third down, spectacular catch, turns into a first down. First down saves him from a three and out. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 46. They'll run on first down. It's Peterson. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They run again with Peterson. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Man, these guys may not win this ball game, but you certainly can't fault the effort of this man here today. He's been a real thorn in their sides all afternoon. And that last carry puts him over the 100-yard mark. Another tote for the workhorse here this afternoon, Peterson. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. On second down, Love. And an alley to run. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Bryce Love. 29 yards as his guys are back within a single score. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency yet relaxed enough to get it done. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. This is taken at the three. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. <laughs> Not sure it could be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in at this stage of the game. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. They'll have a first down past the 40, as he'll get this one up to the 44-yard line. 16 yards, a first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. A first down carry for Barkley, pushing forward for three up to the 48. What's the old expression, three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now, we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Switch, switch, switch. 
Rock City. Rock, rock it, rock it. City. Go. From just shy of midfield, Manning. And the Redskins do get to him. He goes down for a sack. That's Deron Payne with a sack that time. An eight-yard loss on the play. It's now third down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Third and long for the Giants and Eli following the sack. Push him back. Push him back. Faking the give to Barkley, now Manning. And the pressure gets to him again. It's Ryan Kerrigan getting the sack. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long, why are you calling play action? Yeah, because they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to deal with pass protection and their line blocking. But to me, it seems silly. Yeah, well, they're silly, and it leads to a play action sack. Lyman didn't even touch him. Come on now. Do your assignments. Do your responsibilities. Snap. The Giants do snap it. It's Manning. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. The Giants go on fourth but come up empty. And the Redskins will take control of the football in great field position. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Peterson. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this is nice a of defense. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that'll make it second and 12. Haskins now off the bootleg. The attempt on the dive, and he has it. What a catch. That one good for 26 and a first down. I'd have to say that whenever you see a good post route run, they do not like to let it end without the catch. Hence, that great diving play. Yeah, lay it up there, let him go get it, and he got it. Down. It's Peterson, and he is met quickly in the backfield. I take a loss again. Hit like a lawn chair. Well, Brandon, he's had a great day, but sometimes the other guys make a play against you. What's that expression they like to use in the NFL? Those guys get paid too, you know. Yeah, in college they say, "Hey, they're on scholarship too." In the NFL, they're getting paid too. With the day he's had, you can have one go in the wrong direction. On second and eleven now, Haskins. That's complete, right around the eight. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Point, yeah, that's that. that. No video. He threw it right at you. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Literally, he threw it right at you. <laughs> Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air. Because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. Third and two, now Haskins. And this is taken in for a Redskins touchdown. Paul Richardson there to make the grab as they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with the extra point. Here's Hopkins now for the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. All right, offense, let's get it. Let's go. Two minute drive. Win the game. Field goal or touchdown. Let's get it. Let's go. Justin Hopkins set to kick off. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. The Giants take our first hit at their own 25 yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. 
coming to you, coming to you. Six guard, check six guard. Ready, ready. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And not much to speak of. Call it a one yard gain up to the 26. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On second and nine. Manning. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a I got a block and I'm at this point in the Let's game. Go. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Third and long for the Giants and Eli following the sack. Manning. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 30. And the return will stop right around the 25. So how about that for a momentum switch? We're in the fourth quarter and it's a tie game. You've got to take care of the football here. Now their opportunity to take the lead right out the window and everything is flipped in the other direction. They'll run on first down. It's Peterson. Peterson a first down and more. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Adrian Peterson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And they're able to break the tie and move out in front here in this fourth quarter. Important extra point up and through. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. the touchdown Dustin Hopkins will kick it away and that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback Offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. The Giants on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and four. Back to throw. Manning. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Jonathan Allen in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. He'll look to throw. Coleman has it here right side. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first Yo, of their timeouts. As the clock will me. stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Now Manning. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Quentin Dunbar right there on the coverage. Couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime. And because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do? So why did you run the ball? You run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. Manning to throw. 
The throw to the left side caught by Coleman. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts. Corey Coleman, you have been catching every 16 seconds Amazing. remaining on the clock. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. To throw is Manning. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. 12 more yards there and another first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Sam He's back to throw. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Red Allison, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. One final try now for Manning. Dancing to his left. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Well, Charles, this one's going to be hard to digest. You take the lead. Two wins this game. Lose Team. that lead. Maybe they felt like they let this one slip away a little bit. They will definitely turn over like yeah, that because when you have a lead in the fourth quarter, all you talk about doing amazing. is finishing and closing a game out. That's when you put it over, how about that? Making a comeback and finishing the game, sealing it on defense, they can feel juvenile in their life. 11 yards per carry, 2 touchdowns, amazing. 72 yards longest run of the day, amazing. Corey Coleman, you had you had an amazing end today also. Five catches, 137 receiving yards, 130 receiving yards, 26 yards per carry, one touchdown. Nice, 59 yards. I mean, 50, yeah, 59 yards longest reception. Nice. Second where you did great receiving too. And defense, y'all did see y'all did pretty good too. Uh, we just kept you know having to be a short field, 10 tackles. Nice. Tackle for loss, one, two, three, four. Tackle for loss, amazing. And a sack. Yeah, see, see, they had way too many sacks. One, two, three, four, five, nine, nah, y'all. It's not gonna cut it. That's not. Either gotta get the ball out sooner or gotta at least touch them. <laughs> gotta at least touch the defensive lineman before they do anything. Or touch the quarterback more so. Or touch the quarterback. Gotta at least touch my offensive lineman. Now it's having 100 yards at least. I mean, yeah, no, not 700 yards at least, yeah, in each category. Did I convert your percentage? Not worth really mentioning. Um, time position to go with that, but yeah, it's, it's just sucks again. It sucks. And then the interception, that's all it was. Sympathy Naruto, over and out. Still top twelve percent. Time like time breeze number what up, T Breeze what it is. The New England Patriots. Not showing the stats yet, but they are showing the record and um all that's there for me. Twenty two and twenty one, alright. So the shit, twenty nineteen. Alright, and um Shout out to Tori Kelly's album being out one year and one day today, one year anniversary yesterday. And um, yesterday, September 15, 2019, her second album came out September 14, 2018. And my top three first songs on there are in this order Masterpiece, Never Alone, and It As Well. Chaos. Tori Kelly. Tori Kelly fans are going to keep loving and supporting you, so yeah. 
And with all that being said, CBC Naruto, over and out. Oh yeah, and um, your Jazz we got a win today. Um, versus the Bills. Also on September 15th, 2019, <laughs> at 1 o'clock. Uh, yeah, you know, let's get it done. Um, the door. <laughs> Alright. With all that being said, CBC Naruto. Over and out.